So I was scheduled to have an appointment with Dr. Reed this fall. And back in August, I got a telephone call from her scheduler. And she said, Jennifer, I wanted to let you know that we actually are gonna need to move your appointment because Dr. Reed is not going to be working on the day that you're scheduled to be here. And I said, okay, well, what are the options? Where can we move it to? It wasn't an emergency appointment, so it wasn't a problem at all. And she said, uh, here's another date. And I said, is, is everything okay? She said, well, Dr. Reed is actually part-time right now. And she has been for several months because she's caregiving for her dad. And of course, my ears perked right up. I said, she's caregiving for her dad, is everything okay? She says, everything's okay, this is the scheduler, everything's okay, Dr. Reed's doing okay, but she's trying to, to take good care of her dad, and so her schedule's being adjusted a little bit here and there. So, rescheduled the appointment, and the day that I show up for the appointment, last month, I was greeted by Dr. Reed's longtime medical assistant named Karen. And Karen came out to the waiting room and greeted me, and she brought me back to the examination room, and we started to chat a little bit. And I said, how's Dr. Reed doing with everything with her dad? And Karen sighed, and she said, actually, Dr. Reed is going to be leaving us. And I said, really? she's gonna be leaving us? Why, what, what's going on? And she says, well, her dad is still really sick, and it's contract time. It's time for the physicians to sign their annual contracts. And Dr. Reed talked to the administrators, again, of this very large, very well-known healthcare system that everybody in this room has heard of. And they presented her with a contract and said, we need you to sign it, but you're out of family medical leave. So you can't work part-time anymore, even if you don't expect pay. And Karen tells me that Dr. Reed said, well, I'd really like to negotiate something where I'm gonna be able for at least the foreseeable future to work part time because my dad is still really, really sick. And the powers that be, the administrators at this big, well-known, important healthcare institution said, we're really gonna need you to sign a contract where you're gonna work full time and you really can't take any more part-time scheduling, or we're gonna have to ask for your resignation. Now, Karen is telling me this, and she says, you know, Dr. Reed's not really telling a lot of people about it, but I know what you do for a living, and, and we're just all devastated about this, because not only is Dr. Reed a great diagnostician, a smart woman, a wonderful doc, but gosh, the patients really love her, and she really cares about them, she has a caregiver and patient inclusive attitude. So Dr. Reed came into the examination room and of course, super professional, super lovely as always, and she immediately jumps in and wants to talk about me. What's going on with me as her patient? And I say, hold on a second. Let's talk about you for a minute. How's your dad? What's happening? And she was very professional and she says, you know, I guess Karen must have told you I'm gonna be leaving the practice. My dad, they think he has maybe six to 12 months left. And I just feel like I can't in good conscience sign a contract for full time because I want some flexibility. I wanna be able to take time when my dad needs me. If my dad needs to go to the doctor, if my dad is having a bad day, or maybe even if my dad's having a good day, I wanna spend time with him and I don't wanna lose this time, I'm never gonna get it back. She really got it. She really got what it means to be a caregiver. And we went on, I gave her some tips about caregiving, we talked about some of her challenges, and then she spent the rest of the time focusing on me, as she always had, as such a wonderful, caring, brilliant physician. And I thought, that's really sad. It's probably gonna be the last time I see her at this practice. And I said, please keep in touch. Please let me know where you wind up. I drove home from that appointment with two major conclusions. The first conclusion, and I know that the healthcare professionals in this room are going to really get this. Isn't that short-sighted of the healthcare organization? The healthcare professional
professionals in this room at this conference will tell you we are facing a recruitment problem with qualified talent, physicians, nurses, social workers, psychologists, with every area of healthcare. For talented people that actually have a great bedside manner, that are bright, that are loyal to an organization, why would they lose her? Why wouldn't they work with her? So my first conclusion was, wow, that was short-sighted. Isn't it gonna be harder to find somebody? And by the way, in this specialization area where Dr. Reed practices, it's going to be a challenge. Recruitment and retention in this area of medicine is incredibly challenging. My second conclusion was, when caregivers are bringing their loved ones to Dr. Reed and she or Karen make any mention of why she's leaving, they are getting, coming away with the message that, wow, this big, important healthcare institution that everybody's heard of, they don't really care so much about caregivers. 